Hi again, welcome to the garage. I'm Pierre. Uh, I was needing to have a better coolant pump than uh, you know this, so uh, got this from my uh, harsh storage area. Uh, had to uh, do some cleanup, do some stuff. My friend Philip was with me, and uh, we kind of worked at it. Uh, I guess it's not maybe going to be the best editing I ever uh, produced or whatever because we just left the camera roll and uh, you know chit chat a little bit and uh, boy that gave me a uh, you know tremendous amount of uh, work uh, scanning through oh, I don't know how many hours of uh, just running video so uh, I'll try to make it interesting but I will show you how we uh, fixed the pump uh, cleaned it up uh, the motor itself the uh, issues with the uh, like the uh, ventilation into the uh, the pan air and uh, let's uh, just get at it and uh, be patient. I guess it's like I say, it's not our best video uh, in the, as uh, interest in running and editing, but let's share it. So we got this here. I need some uh, better uh, coolant than uh, this one with a pump. Yeah. And uh, when I'm strike. And, yeah, and when I'm alone, I mean uh, writing the, the surface the surface grinder in the pump means uh, impossible. So I got this been lying down there. Uh, Outside for a couple of years? No, it's outside, I mean, in hostile environment for a while, and uh, this has to be checked and restored. So we're going to crack it open. Let's see it. This is one. Of, this is one. I got another one. If, does, if this one doesn't work, I mean, I got another one. If this so. one doesn't work on his grinder, it'll work on my Graziano. <laughs> Garbage picker. <laughs> Damn right. Okay. Garbage like this? Let's see what kind of oh, a... Oh, that's promising. Oh, boy. Let's see what kind of a surprise we're going to be getting in there. There. Give me a laundry the back. And it uh, looks like we're going to have to uh, maybe fix a couple of holes in there. <laughs> there, were, there were a few spots on the floor, so uh, there shouldn't be too much stuff in there. But, ooh, I'm a little bit afraid of opening this. Ah, maple toffee. Not. That's not bad. It's not bad. How does it? How does it taste? Here, uh, I brought you in for you to taste, <laughs> not me. Okay, we're gonna have a. We need a scraper. Some kind of a cleanup to do. Oh, woof. A few parts in there. Like uh, every coolant uh, back, uh, our uh, tub's got this, some kind of a separator. The coolant from the uh, apparel that's where it's been used come down to this. Uh, and this one, this side. No, it comes out in this basin. You're right. And it just, you, you, it's just a partition to let the chips sink before they get picked up. Yeah, the heavy stuff from the coolant just goes, uh, sinks down to the bottom, and the uh, clear stuff goes on the other side, supposedly. Yeah, there's still holes. It's not blocked, so it, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. We're shipping this back, back. to China. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll teach them to oh, send us man, some. Oh, uh, shit all over the screwdriver. They'll, they'll teach them to uh, get this, the, uh, the, the Michelin jacks with uh, defective <laughs> foolish move. Just by the sign there, the Miller, the old, the old Miller sign there. This is not, uh, <laughs> this is not very recent. Okay, my table is going to be dirty. That's okay. See there, if you pit uh, pit it holes, that's where it comes from. And we probably got a few more here. So it's going to be you some. Know what you need is you need to make feet for this thing so it doesn't sit on the concrete. Yeah. Like little rubber pads or. Uh, you got a pretty good idea. The thing is, when uh, when you put the uh, good stuff for uh, coolant, and you keep it at the right uh, pH or you know concentration, you get the uh, anti corrosion. Well. I remember that the guy who uh, rebuilt the uh, thing. The synthetic coolant is pretty bad for uh, corroding. Actually, he uh, suggested if I use coolant to use uh, <laughs> water soluble oil and not the synthetic stuff. I'm using the water soluble oil. This is my. Uh, it's been my practice. For I mean, I guess if you're in a business and it, its life cycle goes away before it goes bad, it's not an issue. But 
if that makes sense. Um, or it's you know it gets used up before uh, you can it replenish. Goes bad. But you can replenish uh, up to a certain time. You have to get a refractometer to uh, control the uh, state in which it is. Then you can uh, make it last that. much longer. Now the uh, business part of this, the pump motor. So here we got the. Oh, uh, that's oh. gonna have to be clean. Oh, I'm not sure we. Uh, I'll blow in it, see if it works. Go ahead. I'll watch. Yeah, I know. Check the other end while I blow in yeah, it. Yeah, forget it, buddy. <laughs> what was that saying? I was born at night, just not last night. <laughs> We'll see if the motor is jammed or the pump. Maybe the pump could be jammed because if it's been left in there with the... Uh, That's okay. okay, be quiet. You got a key fender in your pockets? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think you should pull it out of there. No, I think it'd be easier to do this. There we go. That's not even tight. That's smooth. If it, and, uh, there's no oxidation. It's just smooth in. And it's not solid. Uh, maybe before you do it all, but you just loosen everything. No? Or whatever. That's got to come up anyways. you got to undo that, and that's yeah. going to come out. Whatever. It's my pump. Yeah, I'm just taking it apart without you look, knowing and looking what's going on. So. I think we'll document. Video will be a good thing. On documenting how it's done. There's definitely got to be packing just by the way that's uh, shaped. Oh, yeah. If you got something uh, like curved in there, like spherical, you, you might have. Try undoing these? or? Uh, I, think, I think we'll take it out from there. We have to unbolt it from the bottom. Okay, get the motor out of there. It should. Uh, okay, there, that's it. Excellent. Uh, we'll throw everything in this uh, bucket here. Yeah, there's a gasket in there. You've got to be careful. Hopefully it's a good rubber gasket and it will survive. All brass hardware and it comes off after, comes apart after like probably 30 years. <coughs> this is an old unit, yeah. Probably still works though. Yeah, but before we turn it on and break something, I think it's just smart to take it apart and clean it. <clears throat> okay, we got it separated. Separate, separate the gasket and parts too. You got an exacto. Yeah. It's a paper gasket. Oh, then I can get another paper gasket. I think the problem is going to be to find another gasket. No, the gasket's still okay. Mm. Okay, now looks in good shape. Well, there's not much Geared pump. There's not much smooth in there, you know. No, it's good. There you go. There's your pressure relief ball right in the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Pushes open, bypasses. We're cleaning up the shaft in here. Okay, I'll take it out right now. They're coming out. Yeah. Or oh, you might want to clean the end of the shaft before you drag that through the bushing. Yeah. It's um. Dirty a little bit. Let's get some uh, solvent. The bottom one will come out. Uh, at, uh, just a second. Is there? Is there? Is there a position? Timing? I don't think there's timing. There shouldn't be in these pumps, but just want to make sure. It looks good though. Oh, this is still like a tolerance seems pretty good in there. Yeah. Uh, like you know what? I'm just looking at the gears, and there's barely. There's no wear on it. No. I don't think it's been used too much. I think uh, wherever you picked this up, you got pretty damn lucky. Yep. I think it was free, or that's, almost. That's even better. Yeah, knowing you, yeah. Usually they pay you to come pick it up. <laughs> Happens. Gears just pinned in. I don't know how you'd get that out, though. Mm -hmm. so uh, I don't think we need to take it no, out. No, no, I'm not. I just, oh, from, yeah. from a mechanical standpoint, 
you got the pin on one side, it doesn't come out the other, so you can't push it through. So there's a oh, I got a outside good... of shearing it off. There's no way to get this off. Yeah, I know. Let's see, you shear it off, you make it turn with a five horsepower motor, put a screwdriver in it. They shear off. How about a press? I wouldn't do that. Oh, I could press it this way. It's a brass pin. You'd shear that right off. I'm that way you can get the gear off the shaft. I'm just from a no. It's not. Uh, it's not coming out it's unless not unless to. you made a made a hole on the other side and tried it with a push punch. Yeah, well, that's only if this goes straight through the shaft. It doesn't have. To go right through the shaft, you make a you make a hole. Oh, you just drill this out. Right? You drill it out. Okay. You can drill it out from this side if you really want to, or you can drill it from the other side. But the only, the only thing with using it's up yours. It's up to you. <laughs> only thing is I wouldn't rub too much on. No, that. no. But if we use a sealer, we're not making up for the thickness of that. Paper. I don't think we should use a sealer in there. Uh, the thing is, we undone it, and I think we'll have to put it back. Don't play with it. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's all got to make sure there's no garbage underneath it, but you know what? This is going to be a good pump. I know. So we got to take care of the motor. There's no wear on this pump. No, there's nothing. It's beautiful. Okay, good. Everything in there. Oh, uh, these ones. Fuck. Okay, motor now. Yeah, there's probably a governor switch in there. Fun with the, this kind of stuff, eh? Doesn't... Uh, Maybe we just need to clean up the bearings. I doubt that. Sure. Uh, something we got to do. Yeah, punch the cases. Yeah, I guess. I guess you learn quick. Me, give me, give me. Let's make one. Let's make one. Oh, it's in there. It's enough. You don't want to. Well, you want to just because it's going to you want to index it. It's going to be uh, giving the orientation, the indexing. Yeah, well, oil hole goes up. Mm. And new fee oil. New foil. So the indexing is perfect this way. There we go. I like uh, some things where I can't go wrong. Screwdriver. Hey, this is a Lee Valley, one of the first punch set I bought about, I don't know, 30 years ago, maybe 40, I'm not sure. So long ago. Okay, the, uh, okay, you got the uh, switch? Watch the wires. No, no switch, no wires. No. Oh, you don't have that side? No, you got that side. Okay, thanks. You got the ass end of the... The ass end of the donkey? <laughs> The nammer? Hey, it's mine. Don't, uh, don't abuse it. Uh, I don't think we'll get brass. I guess we'll get alu aluminum. Give me a, yeah, aluminum will do. Like the uh, Americans say aluminum. Puis, uh, like the Brits say, or the, uh, the, the rest of the world, the metric world say aluminum. And here in French, we say aluminum. Oh, no, you're holding it. I'm holding my hammer. <laughs> You're not doing this to me. What, what, what are we missing here? Nothing, just the. It's almost up. It's not too bad. I see, there's a felt for lubricating and uh, bearing. I think it's a bushing. A bush bearing. Yeah, Ooh. so we, we got to take this apart. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I think we could have just lubricated it and it was going to go and uh, uh, go brand new again. Maybe. I suspect. Give me this a second. Oh, I think we're going to be going to some new uh, We'll try the other side before. Oh, that way it's done. Nice. Uh, it's a bronze bushing. It's a bronze bushing with conducts in there. I don't know if I can show this. Long time I haven't seen those. That's why it lasted so long. Uh, the windings are beautiful. This this pump never got hot. No. See, we got. I think we can see that. We got some uh, conducts in the bushing. For the Earl. The or 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 anyway, I can't do this. And I, 
like those southerners can twist their tongues in ways that I can't. They can make a knot in the uh, cherry, you know, the, the uh, cherry tail. I was gonna say something stupid, but I won't. Yeah. Because I never say stupid stuff. <laughs> oh, wait till Robert comes in. We'll, we'll all be saying stupid stuff. No, it's been squished on. Preston. It's been squished on, probably like a tool that just like. <laughs> So how are you supposed to change the bushings in there? I guess you're not. You sent the mortar for being refurbished. Yeah, well, there's a rubber on this side. How are we going to get that thing lined back up when we put it back together? Oh, you just uh, bang it a little bit, and when oh, it comes okay. there... You put your finger there, and I'll bang it. Okay, so... Uh, but it's, it's just oil. There's no bearings. Yeah. This is a nice bearing. A nice... Uh, nice uh, bushing. Bushing bearing, you know, like... Uh, so do we bother taking the back off? No. Nope. It's gonna be. Uh, so we just gotta oil it up. Yeah. I'm just gonna move it back together. It's gonna be used with this oil. This is turbine oil. I got a, a few, a few, a few bottles of those. This is very good. It's light oil, and it just like uh, lasts forever in wash. No washing machines. Uh, sewing machines. Every machines that need uh, light oil turns pretty fast. It will do. Well, that's like the, like the same oil. That, I think the oil that he put in my uh, Graziano was a uh, aircraft oil, the aircraft turbine oil. Pretty oh. expensive stuff. It's like 300, two, 300 bucks a five gallon. Oh. Yeah. It's going to last. We're going to have to uh, repolish the shaft a little bit, maybe. I suggest we use some. Uh, the only place I might file. Very light. Uh, I'm not going to no, file it. Here, here, look. There's a set, set screw that probably made a. Some place where it sticks out. Yeah, we'll get okay, the old diamond there. Oh no, I got better than that. Okay, try not to drop this one. It's the only one I got Me? left. That's, that's complete. I got some on the way, but uh, this is. Try not to go uh, what in the area where the, we got the uh, bearings. This is uh, ruby uh, ruby stones. These are pretty good for. Uh, you know, they last a lifetime until you drop them. I guess here the lifetime is about a year. <laughs> a year or until Philip shows up. Depends how lucky Bo's away. <clears throat> that feels better. Well, okay. Uh, didn't we order some of these from... Uh, yeah, we ordered them. We, they're coming. Okay, so a little clean up. Shaft here. Get the grid out. And yeah, a little bit of shit in there. Okay. I'm using WD. Uh, the orientation doesn't matter right now. Soon it will. That's better. You got the uh, lining it up. Not bad at all. But that doesn't look very straight, though. I would say this would be more like it. I think the uh, oil, uh, the oiler should be the oiler, the oiler, the oiler, Earl. the oiler. No, no, you gotta say like E A R L. Earl. They all put the oil in there. Gotta put the oil in there. The early bird gets the worm. I think that should be enough. That's pretty much what I was thinking. You want to put the capacitor back on? Do you want to test the capacitor before we uh, make sparks? Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, it's pluggable. We can test it. It's easy. I got. Uh, I got everything to test those. Got a capacitor tester. What is it? This? No. No, it's just a battery tester. Test batteries, test this, test that. Screwdriver, you're gonna use your tongue? No, I was gonna use a pair of pliers. Here, but here, 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 here. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I don't know, maybe there's still some <laughs> remnant charging. Not now. There. The capacitor, look underneath there, maybe it's there, I'm not sure. Are you green leak or all oh, this? That little thing, yeah, that's, oh boy. I was trying to keep it clean, but uh, get it. <laughs> not with me around. That's a nice little tool, though. You just uh, connect any 
any place, any any wire, any any lead on this, and to any any component or just about, and it's going to tell you what it is. It's doing a test, testing the battery itself first. Then it's a 133 microfarad, uh, lost 1.8 percent uh, ESR, 0 0.06 ohms. Sounds good. Now I'll read what's on the on the case first. Hey, it's 130 to 156 microfarad. It's uh, it's good. Come on, old Tom's. Is that what you call Tom's Lipton? Uh, no, yeah, no, I'll take this one out, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Another one that. Beep! Uh, another one that's uh, not gonna. Another one that's gonna make me lose uh, subscribers. Shit. Oh, you can do fine on your own. You don't need. <laughs> <laughs> I can lose them without opening my mouth. Okay, so let's put this on and plug it from far away. I think we'll. Uh, no, no, Pierre, just plug it in. We'll put the switch on, plug it in, and if anything goes wrong, unplug it. I mean, you already start to run on me. Damn right. Well, somebody's gonna have to hold it, right? Or is it gonna kick over? Uh, it's not kicking too much. A motor like that doesn't kick too much. So on? No. Yes. You don't do that because it needs it needs to be held. So I'm going to... Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, I know. You'll be by the garage door. and I'll, Okay, Phil, go. <laughs> Give me... Uh, I got a piece of scotch bread. Okay, this is off. Plug it in the... Uh, power bar? Strip there. Yeah, well, power strip. <laughs> oh, that's too <laughs> That oh, fucker. <laughs> Turning. Seems good. No, no smoke? No smoke, yeah. I was <laughs> going to say just that. The absence of smoke makes me happy. I just... Uh, we almost got yourself... Got, got ourselves a... A coolant pump. Just the bucket now is the problem. Well, the bucket, and I still have to clean the other parts. No, with this Don't gasket. play with the gas. I know, but that's what I'm saying. You, you want to just put it back together? Yeah, yeah, I think so. We'll and have pray to. for the best. Yeah, that's about uh, what we're gonna have to do. Oh, uh, this uh, this gasket doesn't. Uh, well, that's a packing, though. The more you tighten it, the more it seals. So I think we'll have to go for that. To get a new one? No, I think we'll have to go for packing it again. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can pack it. I think it's a piece of rubber. The outside, the inside part's still pretty good, but yeah, the outside third is a. Uh, Turd. Turd. You know what? What? I see something here. Yeah. We're going to have a leak there. Oh, you don't have that. Uh, whoops. The the Loctite sealer would do pretty good on that. Oil. Uh, is this a, uh, just a... That thing it's a paper gasket. I think it's just paper. I think we can use plain paper on this one. And you got to make it. For sure. And? It's a bug. Now, let's... Uh, now, should I get some special paper for this? I think. Uh, Want to go see the other part? Um, I'm going to measure this. Uh, that I think it's a fake me to tell you this one. It doesn't even turn off. That's uh, 33 tau. 33 tau? 3.3 tau. Yeah, 3.1 thousand. You're, uh, you're ambitious. I think we're, we, we need something uh, in the uh, vicinity of that uh, thickness. It's just a piece I, of paper. I've got, I've got some Mylar uh, drafting sheets. I could do it. I could is do it, it frosted or is it? Uh, frosted. I thought I'm a bit more concerned about it. It has to write on. Yeah, I know. But honestly, I think flange sealer would do it. My only concern is we're missing three thou in thickness. <clears throat> and I wouldn't want the gears, but gears didn't really contact the backside. There's nothing in there. I mean, it's, it's clean, super clean. I'm not sure that... This is right up. I, I think that pump haven't been, hasn't been... Uh, I, I think this whole thing hasn't been used at all. You, nah, it's been used a little bit because the gunk in the, in the bottom of that, that proves that it's been filled at least once. A filled. You know what? Filled. I think... It's been filled. you filled funny. You're funny. Yeah, I know. I think flange sealer will do it. I'm going to cut your outside first. Not that I want to tell you what to do, but... Yeah. I got, 
Right. Yeah, I guess you're uh, half right. Again. Cutting the outside now. Since this is going to have to be <coughs> cut as precise as possible. Now this can't move anymore. <laughs> I guess you don't see. Yeah, you're going to see. I'm going to back up. <laughs> Before you get the <laughs> knife blade right in your forearm. Sh sharpied. With a blade. This all with one hand. One move. I hate this. This seems good. <coughs> okay, then yeah, I'm gonna cut your view a little bit. Sorry about that. And my fingers, which are getting me joy and pain at the same time. I hope you put your microphone on the switch. Yeah, yeah. See, si. oh, solami. Okay. It registers. Okay, now turn it off. <laughs> so. It's pretty well cut, a few, just a few little links. Easier to get rid of. What I'm going to do first, because the bobbing might roll uh, like crazy, so I'm just going to get something around a little bit and uh, dip it. <laughs> it will stop the ball bearing from making the <coughs> me crazy. Hopefully. I mean, that doesn't take much, but sometimes I can go uh, pretty pissed about things that uh, <laughs> no. don't listen to me. <laughs> No. I do the same thing to my wife. Pierre get upset? No. I make her upset sometimes. There you go. Put the bearing. The, it's already a little dip in there. And when you hear crunch, crunch, good enough, then you're crunch, crunch, good enough. So next size down. Okay, perfect. I did it to beg you. <laughs> I like I like to be a beggar. Don't give up your day job, Pierre. Here, go back the uh, humorous to the good ones. Uh, we're going again. No, yeah, there you go. Ah, that's it. Nice punch hole. You gotta keep the <laughs> the holes like uh, not moving now. Hey, I think I'm gonna get this one first shot. There we go. You know why you got it in the first shot? Because you helped me. Because I placed it there. Oops. Tap it just a second. Gonna turn the vice. Oh, the honeydew. Hey, what you doing? Oh, you you take care of it, eh? Hey, yes, honey. How about? <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't call to say I crashed, so I made it fine. Okay, I'm going to just mark it, then I'm going to cut it off the... Uh, okay, now just some marking around there. I could even use a, a ball head hammer. On this. You don't want to be pushing on that soft brass edge. A little bit, it doesn't. If I get brass to push on it, it's not going to break it. Just it's not breaking it, it's just rolling it over. I just want to make a contour. And that's... Uh, okay. Just want to draw the contour on this. You nagging wife, just get get off my back. <laughs> I'll get you, Robert, to, get, to keep you busy just in a few minutes. I'll be quiet. Okay, the contour is uh, all drawn. Nice and clean, man. Uh-huh. Yep. Not as nice as the Sharpie line. <laughs> I'll draw, I'll draw your mustache. Mm, I'll draw your mustache, you. So backwards now? No, no, vas-y pas backwards. Vas-y, le garde. Euh, quoi? Repars là, là. Fais attention, ça peut. Là, c'est toi qui vas le boucher ou quoi? Tu pourras pas, Pierre. Tu manipules ça. Je penserai pas parce qu'elle est capable de pomper d'après moi un mille livres, celle-là. Là. Ben, dans l'huile? <rire> Oh, regarde, il commence okay. à en sortir. Vas-y, tiens, ah oui. Il marche. Puis dans la panne. Parfait, c'est bon. OK. Elle est installée assez basse, fait qu'à ce moment-là, euh, tape, 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 on va vider. 
Je vais enlever le, bou euh, le bouton de là. là. Mm -hmm.